manual mode, first gear. Good afternoon, everybody. The JMH guy here. Um, just out for a little cruise at the new Benz. Well, the new old Benz, but <laughs> you guys get what I mean. So it's been a pretty fantastic first few days. Yesterday was really rainy, so. Um, but otherwise, fantastic. Drives great. And it looks so good in the sunlight with this color combination. I mean, the dark blue, the rear tinted windows, even with this interior style, it's just, it's got its own uniqueness versus other W126 or 80s S classes and such. But you know how it is. Um, fun fact, since driving it for a little while, I have short legs. So I had to put the seat up like almost all the way, which is pretty crazy to think about. Um, yesterday I did a little vacuum all around, a little dirty down there this morning. Just got a bag there, but otherwise I vacuum like as much as I humanly possibly could. Got most places. But so the plans I have for this in the next little while, um, I'm planning to give it a good clean. Uh, inside a little bit more, but also outside. There are some minor flaws. I'll go over that soon in, in, uh, in another video. Um, but it's, uh, yeah, it's been, it's been great. Um, I'm hoping to do like a top three, top five favorite things, worst things, you know, that sort of stuff. Right. So, but it's been great. Um, even though it is admittedly a, almost like, essentially it's like a big boat, but it's so comfortable and drives so smooth. That V8 power, for those of you who do not already know, my daily driver is in BMW X3, the small compact SUV. So uh, that going from a smooth inline six to a big, powerful German V8, th this thing has like 100 horsepower or more. Even, even though it's like 15 years older uh, than my X3, which is a 2004, it's still... Uh, it's incredible it, it keeps it's got really good oomph, uh even this day and age so something kind of funny is that uh my family also has a w126 uh 88 560sl as well but there's quite a few differences uh funny enough I, I don't actually know what half these buttons do or mean so it's kind of playing around with it um there's lots of neat little things uh here and there uh for those of you who did not watch uh, any of my other videos um, that I haven't posted yet, uh, these rear seats do recline, so it's kind of like this thing is essentially the Maybach of the day. And uh, in addition, the interior, uh, the air conditioning runs fine. I mean, for a 1980s vehicle, it's one of the better ones. Um, it takes a little while to essentially, it takes a little while to get uh, get cool, but once it does, it's pretty great, actually. Um, I'm gonna do some driving videos later on as well, but uh, otherwise, it's it's been great so far. Let's take a look all around on the outside. Again. So, once again, it, some people comment it's a longer wheelbase. I actually don't know if, uh, if other 126s were like shorter or longer, but this is, this is the SEL, so it's, as far as I'm aware, aside from any of the uh, AMG rent, uh, of the day, it's the best version uh, that you could get for this configuration. Once again, for those who don't already know, this car used to be owned, um, previous owner I mentioned in uh, my shorts video was actually a Japanese uh, diplomat two, two owners ago. The previous owner was my dad. Before the, officially, on unofficially it was because uh, my dad gave it to me, so I'm technically the fourth owner, but he's the third. Before that, the importer who brought it to Canada was the second. Before that, in Japan, uh, 
it was a Japanese diplomat. I don't know who or which one. Um, I haven't actually looked at all the service records, but otherwise, um, it generally, it, it's fantastic. Once again, it's just, uh, uh, needs a little bit of a cleanup. It might be hard to tell with the, uh, with how far the camera is, but now that we're closer, like, you know, just dust and I just got to clean it up, touch up the wheels, uh, the tires. Um, paint work is generally fine. I'll go through that later in a bigger video uh, later on. But it's uh, it's been fantastic. So one other thing I do want to mention, uh, I'll be showing the model later as well. So the giveaway that I've been talking about and mentioning in my last few videos is a giveaway for a 118, I think, scale or 120. No, it's yeah, it's 118 <laughs> uh, scale model Lamborghini Murcielago, um, a balloon white one. So I'm gonna, I'm planning on giving that away once my channel hits a thousand subscribers. So essentially, uh, in order to enter, you have to like. I'd be appreciated if you shared, and make sure you comment down below. What's your favorite classic, uh, classic car? Um, and uh, do you like classic German cars too? And make sure, of course, you subscribe. I'm officially going to be starting it this Wednesday when uh, the new Lamborghini Aventador uh, uh, last V12 for all starts. So I'm probably going to launch it officially around then as well as have the full uh, details in the box. But definitely stay tuned. Um, it's going to be pretty cool as well as for the videos of this. Um, I mean, I already know my top three things for sure overall. So, Oh, and then, uh, by the way, another thing too is make sure you check out some of my previous videos too because uh, there's some really cool stuff I posted in the last few weeks in addition. Um, oh, also this haircut. Uh, barber shops are still locked down in my region, so I'm gonna have to wait another week or two to get this haircut. Then I'll be all freshened up. <laughs> but anyways, thank you everybody very much for watching, and uh, we greatly appreciate it. And see you in the next video. Take care. Bye bye. Yeah.